this is an awesome two inch binder. Sayerite had it manufactured just for you, our customers. It works well with the two inch facing, the two inch webbing, two inch Dacron tape, and even making your own piping. We'll start out by showing you how it works with the two inch facing. This is a Sumbrella two inch facing. Also works with Stamoids and other facing as well. This extremely high quality binder folds the facing automatically and keeps that stitch in exactly the same spot. You can see it here with a straight stitch. The binder is completely adjustable. Here we'll show it doing a zigzag stitch. Let's take a look at that stitch on the top side here and also on the bottom side. You'll see that that two inch facing is folded perfectly. It's fast and easy, great for enclosures. Here's what the Sumbrella 2 inch facing looks like on the inside. It's great for uh, edge reinforcement for fasteners, as shown here with the press and snap tool. We're just installing one snap to show you how it works. Let's also show you using this 2 inch binder with webbing. It also works in folding the webbing over the edge of a raw piece of material. It folds it beautifully. This is the top side and here's the bottom side and you can see it's folded uniformly. There are many customers with sails that have to do hems along the leech and sometimes other places on the sail. You can use the 2 inch binder to sew 2 inch Dacron tapes along the edge of your sail. Uh, so here we are showing a 2 inch Dacron tape and we're using a zigzag to sew this on the edge of a raw sail. No more hemming for those of you that are doing sails in mass production. Have you ever made your own piping? Did you know you can use the two inch binder to make your own piping? Just pick the fabric of your choice and cut it in two inch strips. We're using the Omni Grid ruler and the rotary cutter to cut our two inch strips. We'll take off that regular foot and put a roping zipper foot left in. This gets that needle right up against the raw edge of our cording. We'll insert that two inch Sumbrella tape that we made. You can make obviously any kind of fabric out of this, but we're using Sumbrella. And then position the binder and then feed the piping cord right in the center of the binder. Once it's been started in the center of the binder, all that's needed is just to feed it in there and you can go super fast creating beautiful piping all on your own. You can use any kind of fabric. Watch how fast we can go here. I'm going to incre increase the stitch length. This is a little bit on the small side. I'm going to go to six millimeter and here we go. The beauty of this is that the stitch is far enough away from the cord that when you sew it onto your cushion you will not see that stitch as you sometimes do when just using a cording foot. So see how that stitch is far enough away from the cord and yet comes out beautiful. When making piping with a two inch binder it's necessary that you cut off about a quarter inch of the tadpole section of the uh, piping. So again we're using the rotary cutting tool and the OmniGrid ruler and we're cutting off a quarter inch of that tail. Cutting down this tail ensures that you're not taking up too much of the material when you're building your cushion. So this is necessary when you use the two inch binder to create your piping. And here's what it looks like when you're done. This high quality 2 inch binder was made specifically for Sailrite. You won't find a better 2 inch binder anywhere, I guarantee it. And you can do all kinds of projects. Thanks for watching. I'm Eric Grant with Sailrite.